hello everyone welcome to hippo dairy my name is lingam thank you for watching this video this is a multiple part series where we are going to discuss about uh, creating a pagination control in wpf in the first part we will see how to create a pagination model when i say model it is nothing but a class which holds different properties that will be bound to our uh, main pagination control we will mainly focus using WPF and the MVVM architecture. So that being said, we hope that the people watching this video have some basic idea about WPF and also about MVVM. So we are not going to explain about MVVM and WPF. We are mainly going to focus on creating the pagination control. We will start with the MT project. So I have created a new WPF project and I have called it as uh, pagination WPF. And I have created two folders, user controls and view models to hold them specific items. First, we need to know how our pagination is going to look. So I have something else in my mind, like how my pagination has to be, but it will be better if we start with searching some designs. So, and then we will try to replicate it in our uh, app. So, which is going to be good, okay. So we know what we need. First, let us start creating the models and then we will take it forward. So let me start creating a model. Okay, uh, before that, we need to create it as a separate control, right? So that we will be using it in different uh, projects. So let us start with creating a new project so that we can refer this project everywhere. So it's going to be WPF project and it's called as page or like helper controls you can call it anything you want and inside this project I'm going to make this project as a DLL project so let's say this is going to be a class library and if it is a class library I don't need all these three things so let me delete them so now it's just a DLL file inside this let us start with having a user control and that user control we will call it as what do I call it user control pagination is that correct no it's wrong user control pagination okay so now we have our user control and we need to have one more thing before that uh, let me check the name so it's helper controls helper controls okay and then I will create a new folder and call it as models we'll put a new class which will be our page nation model this is the most important thing because we will be using this model frequently so let's start defining our page nation model public page nation model and obviously it has to be a change notifier model so if you are using let me start a quick public class change notifier model so let that implement i notify property changed which is not here yet so this will be if i'm not wrong system dot collection start object model not sure it's not there yet. so I don't want to try that so let me go here and try I notify oh my god it's still not there confused where is it is it in component model I notify property changed I must do it's in component model of course it is in component model let me go back here and use system dot component model so this will be our notify property changed and uh, okay we need to implement the events so we are implementing it so this is going to be our base class so if you already know how to do all these things, you don't need to worry about this. You can skip these parts. But I wanted to have it 
uh, from scratch since this video is showing how thing is done from scratch so that's the reason why I'm doing this public void on property changed okay if property changed or like property changed control and look this and uh, new property changed event argument with the property name I need to have a property name so what I will do is I will have call member name it's not there so it's going to be in reflection system dot reflection okay it's still not there I will go to MSGN again it is in system dot runtime runtime dot compiler services runtime dot compiler services so it's caller member name see the reason why I am using caller member name is I don't want to give each time the name of the property uh, you will know when I uh, you, will, you will know it shortly so prop name is equal to let's start with null so here prop name the reason why I have used caller member name is if you are not giving any property value whichever property or the member calls it the same name will be used so we will be using it something like this change notifier model so obviously since this is uh, extending this change notifier class okay let it be capital uh, there is no reason to change it as capital we can have it anything so let's say we have what are the properties we need uh, prop four. we need a uh, total number of items per page let's call it as total items so this will be the total overall items maybe for pagination see here in general you will be using like uh, property changed and then you will give this uh, property name so since you are using caller member name you don't need to give the property so when you raise the on property change the total items property name will be fed into the change notifier model so that's the idea behind that you will need a total items which is like if you have 100 items or 200 items or something and then you need items per page items per page so let's Again, then what else we need? We have total items and we have items per page, and then we will have current page and we will have total pages. So, profile. let's say we have current page. So, current page default it's always starts with one. So, that is said without explanation. So, profile current page total pages so we'll do a small math and then we will figure out uh, how we will do this okay so this is uh, something that we have now to begin with so when we speak about pagination let's say that uh, I'm going to give you a uh, thousand items so you need to show 100 items per page then you will be like a thousand items is the total items and 100 items per page so total by items per page will give you the uh, total number of pages required and based upon the current page you will show the values that has to be defined so let's start with current page is always going to be one let's start with that and total pages also let's start with one okay this is a base setup that we have for our pagination model this is more than enough as of now it's time for some recap what we have seen now is basically two items one is change notifier model so how to create a change notifier model change notifier model is nothing but a base class so it uh, contains uh, some properties a base class is like a prop class which contains some properties or methods which can be inherited into another class so it's nothing but a base class mainly here in change notifier model we are just uh, defining a method 
which will be used to raise the property change event. We also saw about uh, how we can use caller member name using that uh, runtime compiler services uh, namespace. So pretty much these are the two things about change notifier model. And the second thing is pagination model itself, like uh, how we can create a model. Pagination model is nothing but a class. Again, it's nothing but a class, uh, which holds the properties that will be bound to a WPF control. So that's it. Uh, these are the two things that we have seen in this video. In the second video, we will see how we can create the pagination user control itself. And 